Hey folks, Jordan from Mind and Soil here, and today we're doing our day seven check-in on our zucchini babies. There's three things that I wanna cover off on today. First, we're gonna do a quick little check-in, see if it has sprouted through the surface. Second, we're gonna make a couple of observations on how it's doing right now and how it's grown and progressed over the course of the last week here. And then third, we're gonna talk through what happens next with our zucchini baby in order to ensure that it is set up for success. Okay, so first up, take a look at this folks. We have our zucchini baby, and as you can see here, it has successfully germinated. And what you can see is that we've got one zucchini plant, two zucchini plants. I think there's a third one somewhere down there that's just starting to poke through the surface, or maybe it's on the other side over here. But sure enough, the one thing that we were hoping for in our first seven days was to get a successful germination, have at least one of them coming through the surface. And recall that we planted five seeds in there and three of them have successfully come through the surface. So we are exactly where we want to be for right now. The next thing I wanna talk through is just a couple of observations around how the plant is doing at this point. As we can see, the plant it is looking really, really young and healthy here. And it has this one set of really big leaves here. And what you'll want to know is that those first two leaves there, the really big ones, are actually known as the first seed leaves. So they're not the first true leaves. If you look really closely into the middle there, we can see that there are a couple of true leaves that are beginning to establish. And what this means is that at the very beginning of a plant's life, it's going to shoot out two leaves to begin with. And those are its seed leaves that it sends out. And then all of its following leaves, the second set of leaves that come through, the third set, the fourth set, those are true leaves. So they're going to look a lot different. So if you're, you know, your next set of true leaves begins to grow and they look a lot different than that first set of leaves, don't stress, don't panic. That's exactly how it's supposed to be and exactly what's meant to be happening. The second observation that I wanna make is that as we can see on the stem here, it's nice and short and stubby. So it's not really uh, super leggy, long and tall. And if we looked at this zucchini plant and if these first two uh, seed leaves were really small, and the plant was really long, that would be a sign that's putting all of its energy into trying to grow long and tall, opposed to staying short and putting that energy into the leaf and foliage growth. So if you do note on your plants that the stem is quite a bit longer than just an inch to two inches, then that would be a good sign to take your grow light and to lower it down so it's a little bit closer to the top of your plants. That will ensure that it is getting enough light and that it isn't going to be putting all of its energy into trying to find that extra light. Okay, so those are just two quick observations in the first seven days of the plant's life. All that you're hoping for is it to be looking something along these lines. Doesn't need to look anything more advanced or more developed than that. This is perfect. It's very early days for a little baby here. And that of course brings us to what happens next. So over the next seven days, all that we're going to do is we're just gonna take our little plant baby, we're gonna pop it back underneath the grow light where it's nice and warm, and it's gonna hang out there underneath the grow light for 12, 13 hours per day, and it's gonna be getting its water every two to three days. So there's nothing new that we're doing and there's no changes from our first seven days. All right, and so the next video in this playlist is our day 14 check-in, where we're going to look and see those first set of seed leaves compared to those first set of true leaves that are going to start to come in. So if you're kind of around day seven right now and you wanna see what are those true leaves that you should be looking for over the course of the next seven days, I encourage you to check out that video. And you can do so by clicking on the image right here and that's gonna take you directly to the video. But folks, that's everything for today. Really hope this has been helpful. If you have any questions, leave those down in the comments and I'll get a response to you straight away. Otherwise, I'll catch you on the next video right over here.